con noi Daria Graziosi e Salvatore Sposito E benvenuti! Questa sera è una veste assolutamente speciale perché siamo insieme. Eh, siamo vicini vicini per presentare un ospite veramente eccezionale. Ma prima vi ricordiamo di seguire i nostri social di Mia TV, quelli di The Live House e Sentieri Online. I nostri, lo- I nostri social li troverete sotto il link nella descrizione e seguite anche il canale YouTube di Sentieri Online, Mia Amor TV e quelli di The Live House. E attivate la campanellina eh, perché dovete iscrivervi. E ora come, facciamo... Come lo dice bene, scusa, scusa, ma lo dobbiamo dire. Un applauso perché lo dice benissimo. <ride> Grazie. Ecco. E ora presentiamo il nostro autore, Rosario, Rosario Paolo Saglia. <ride> È qui con noi Rosario Paolo Saia. Eccolo! Ciao a tutti! Buonasera! Il fascino fatto uomo! Eh sì, capirai. Voi siete carinissimi lì insieme, la prossima volta voglio introfodarmi pure io. Vieni, Quindi, vieni che ti aspettiamo. Siamo pronti, belli carichi, anche stasera abbiamo un ospite speciale. Quindi sarà una bella puntata scoppiettante. Quindi possiamo già annunciare il nostro attore, un attore famoso, un attore fighissimo che ha fatto sognare tante telespettatrici della nostra scuola preferita Sentieri. Quindi possiamo um, annunciare l'attore Kurt McKinney. Via con la scheda. Kurt McKinney è nato a Louisville, Kentucky, il 15 febbraio 1962. Pratica arti marziali dall'età di 12 anni ed è diventato cintura nera di Taekwondo a 21 anni. È celebre per il ruolo di Jason Stilwell nel film del 1985 No Retreat No Surrender, nel quale recita al fianco di Jean-Claude Van Damme. Ha recitato in General Hospital vincendo il Soap Opera Digest Award nel 1990. Dal 1994 è Matt Reardon nella Soap Opera Sentieri, ruolo che ha interpretato fino al 2009. Ha due figli, Cold Madsen e Madison Taylor. È qui con noi Kurt McKinney. Hi, Kurt. Hello. 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 Guys, how are you? Thank, thank you, you for having me. First of all, thank you for joining us. Grazie mille per uh, aver partecipato, per aver accettato il nostro invito. How are you? Are you fine? I'm, I'm very fine, yes. Well, are you ready to start? Yeah, yeah, anytime okay. you guys are. So, we can start. Ok, Daria. Come allora, so iniziamo you? subito perché abbiamo tantissime cose da raccontare, da, da domandarti e partiamo subito chiedendoti uh, quando hai capito di diventare attore. When did you know you wanted to become a, a, an actor? Um... I think I became interested in acting um, uh, probably when I was about 15 years old, 16 years old. Um, I, uh, I saw the movie Jaws uh, with Roy Scheider and um, um, uh, I, I think that was probably a big turning point and also um, Rocky with Sylvester Stallone was uh another movie that made me feel kind of like yeah I'd, i'd like to do that you know so but i didn't i it just seemed like you know too too far away this there's, there's no way so it wasn't until i was about 20 or 21 that I, i met uh someone who who got me into acting and um and then eventually i i moved to uh to uh los angeles california Ok, thank you, nice story, um, uh, interessante no. eh, questa storia qui. Vai Dario. Noi abbiamo, partiamo subito in maniera insomma decisa e quindi abbiamo un video per te con una storia che ti piacerà sicuramente. E now we can show you an interesting video that uh, we hope you will like. It. Ok.
É. Uau, amazing. Wow. It brings tears to my eyes. <laughs> you know, you, yeah, it is because so much of my life um, was on that show and you forget, you forget it until you see it again. You know, you forget, oh yeah, I remember that, I remember that. Just amazing. Thank you guys. That's That was beautiful. Yeah, all the scenes suddenly <laughs> very exciting. Yeah. Molto emozionante tut rivedere tutte quelle scene insieme. Bene, quindi andiamo Senti, a... Senti, come sei... Come sei arrivato al ruolo di Matt, Ri di Matt Reardon? Conoscevi o seguivi già Night prima di lavorarci? How did you get the role of Matt Reardon? Did you already know or watch Getting Light before working there? I, I did not. I knew of Guiding Light, of course, because it, it was one of the oldest soaps that was still on television, you know. And, and at that time, there were still a lot of soaps um, on American television. I'm not sure in Italy, but in, on American television, we had a lot of daytime soap operas. So I knew, I knew of Guiding Light. It was a very well respected uh, and loved show. I had been doing General Hospital um for a number of years and then had left to do other things and then um i um decided that i i would do uh would like to do a show again and so guiding light approached me and um i went to i flew to new york for a screen test and um i didn't know if i would get it i didn't really want to move to new york If I'm being honest, I, I was very happy living in Los Angeles, but I had, you know, that's where it filmed. And, um, when I got offered the part, I said, yeah, I'm, I said, yes. And so I, I moved to packed up all my stuff, my wife and I, and we moved to, we moved to New York. <laughs> Always moving, you know, <laughs> East coast. Yeah. West coast. <laughs> yeah. You gotta be, you gotta be ready to go. You know, wherever the work is, you have to go. It's a, the life of uh, an actor. Yes. Yes. Quindi sì, la vita di un attore essere... soggetto no, a spostamenti e a, a trasferimenti no, dalla, certo. da New York a Los Angeles. Bene. Certo. Senti, ma ricordi il provino che hai sostenuto a, a Sentieri Guide the Light? Do you remember your audition for Guiding Light? Uh, I do. Uh, I met Jill Farron Phelps, the executive producer. She was in um, she was in L.A. and I went in and met with her and um, I felt like it went really well. But part of me was like, I, I hope they're not interested in me because I don't want to move. <laughs> and so um, <laughs> it was I, at first at first I said no. And then I was thinking, hmm. You know, it would be nice to be back on a television show working steady again. You know, steady work is hard to come by. So um, at the last minute, I said yes. I got on a, a what they call a red eye um, flight from, from Los Angeles and got in at like four or five o'clock in the morning, New York time. And, um, and they sent me to my hotel for maybe two hours to sleep. And then off to the studio wow. for the screen for the screen test. So it was like really, really quick. Mm. Nice story. Do you remember your first scene? My first scene? Sì, se si ricordano la prima scena che ha girato. Sì. It was with it was um, my well, here you go. My my screen test mm -hmm. was with Sonia Satra. Okay. And my first <laughs> scene i believe i'm not sure if it was with mave kincaid mm -hmm. or or not it might have been believe it or not it might have been um um gosh her name escapes me at the moment the the the, the woman who played annie Um, and Cynthia Waltros. Cynthia so, Waltros. It might have been she played a waitress yeah. in a little cafe 
and I was on the run, you know, from someone. We remember very well. Was so, that the first scene? Do you remember? Yeah. Okay. If you like it, uh, maybe Marcello can show us uh, the, your first scene. Okay. Oh, that'd be great. Vediamo se, se riusciamo adesso. was a woman hollering. Oh, Lady Truckers did good, didn't you say that? Then you go take care of her. You want to work, don't you? Isn't that what you said when you walked here in here on Monday? But you haven't done a lick since. I don't do breakfast. Besides, how would it look if I were to walk out there like this? Pretty good. But you're right, if Mama heard, she'd fire my butt. Or try to steal you for herself. <laughs> this was uh, your first uh, scene with uh, a beautiful actress, uh, Cynthia Watros, that, uh, you know, um, uh, she played uh, Annie Dutton, and before that role, uh, she um, uh, played uh, that waitress uh, who kissed you for a while in that scene. <laughs> for a while. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, volevo okay. sapere se ti è piaciuto interpretare interpretare questo ruolo di Matt o avresti preferito interpretare un altro personaggio? Did you play uh, did, did you enjoy playing uh, Matt or would you have preferred to play another character? No, I much, I much preferred playing Matt. Matt was an interesting character. He was a bit of a, a maverick, a bit of a underdog, and I like those kind of characters. In fact, he could have, he could have stayed that way longer. Um, I, I think uh, I would have uh, liked that because once he met Vanessa, it was, you know, then it was all family stuff. But. Uh, that turned out to be such a great storyline that, you know, they they uh, they kept it going for for the whole time I was there pretty much. Mm, quindi Matt per sempre, Matt forever. Bene. Sì. Sì. E abbiamo per ricordarlo, abbiamo un altro video che ha fatto il nostro meraviglioso Marcello. And now there is another uh, video that Marcello made for okay. you. Okay. Can't wait. Come here, they're making me nothing. Come on! Wait, wait. Banana! Ah! Banana! No! 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 Wow. 
Wow. Oh, wow. It seems like wow. yesterday, and it was uh, almost 30 years ago. It was 1995. Dico, sembra ieri, wow. invece sono passati quasi 30 anni, 29 anni fa, visto che era il 1995. So amazing. Sì. Thank you, Marcello. Sì. That, was, that was so great mm. to see that again. I've forgotten. I've forgotten all of it until, I, I mean, I sort of remembered it, but then when you see it, you know, it's like, yeah. wow. Yeah, but you, you can't uh, remember all the details no, of the scenes. Yeah. È normale non ricordare tutti i dettagli di quelle scene. Sometimes you forget uh, that it was even you. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> Who was that guy? <laughs> oh, it was great. It was great. Thank you. It's nice to take a trip down memory lane. Yeah. Senti, ma con quale collega hai preferito lavorare e perché? Who was your favorite colleagues to work with and why? Well, you know, I better say Maeve Kincaid or I'd be in big trouble. Uh, but no, she, she was. Maeve and I had such a, an amazing time together. We became um, great friends uh, over the years. Um, We, I think we had an, an instant uh, connection uh, to one another. Um, she, um, she always made me feel comfortable. I always tried to make her feel comfortable. And together, um, we both had the same work ethic. You know, we both wanted it to be as good as, as, as possible. We wanted it to be the best that it could be. So uh, every day we both came in with the same, with the same attitude. Um, let's, let's make it, let's make it great if we can. Mm. Ovviamente eh, um, Maeve Kincaid è un'attrice bravissima, amata e, e quindi è stata la, la sua um, partner perfetta. Quindi we remember you know, Maeve Kincaid as a beautiful and a very talented actress. Right. Yeah. E abbiamo un'altra sorpresa per te. Surprise! <laughs> And now about her, we have another surprise for you. Uh-oh. What now? give you the moon and the stars and the sun but you're already all of those things to me I pledge to keep the stars bright in your eyes the sun warm in your smile the moon to glow upon your face and I promise you a, a life of Love, loyalty, and laughter. Forever. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Wow. What a beautiful, I forgot what a beautiful wedding that was. <laughs> <laughs> a very oh, peculiar wedding. Oh, amazing, yeah, right? Oh. Yeah. Quindi un matrimonio davvero particolare, insomma, non era molto sì. <laughs> comune come, come scene. A parte Vanessa, quale sarebbe stata secondo te la donna ideale per Matt? Uh, apart from Vanessa, who do you think would be the ideal woman for Matt? Oh, I could get in trouble answering that, right? <laughs> um, who would have been the ideal match for Matt other than Vanessa? That's the question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't... I don't know. I think... Um, 
I think because they they played around with the storyline a, a little bit, but it but it, it was just it started but never finished, and that is uh, with um, the character of Beth, played by Beth Chamberlain. Yeah. I think uh, we had uh, she's a good friend to this day. We did a TV show together a few years ago. There she is, um, and uh, we certainly. Um, had a great time working together uh, on the show. So many people. I mean, the list goes on and on. There, every everybody on on that show was was um, just just a great group of people. You know, it really was a great group of people. A lot of good actors. Really amazing work. And um, I was I was just very fortunate to to get to be a part of it for sure. Hmm. I agree with you. Beth Chamberlain is a very beautiful uh, and uh, good actress. And we never. Sono d'accordo con lui per quanto riguarda la la donna ideale poteva essere per me anche Beth. Hai degli aneddoti, non so, qualche ricordo particolare da poter condividere con tutti i nostri amici e amiche che ci stanno seguendo? Do you have any um, anecdotes you would like to share? Any anecdotes? Oh gosh. Um, <laughs> I can't think of anything offhand. <laughs> I can just say that you know we we used to have um, a lot of fun. The whole cast on the days that we had a big party scene. If we had a big party scene, whenever we we broke for lunch, um, it was to a Mexican restaurant where we drank lots of margaritas. <laughs> and then we'd come back uh, to finish out the day after we'd had a margarita lunch. That, I don't know if that's an anecdote or not, but it's a it's a fun thing that, uh, as a cast, we we often did um, uh, on the one of those on those long days where it was because a party scene you would have a little bit of dialogue here and a little bit there, and but it was not it was everybody had lots of stuff, so it was a day where you could kind of have fun and, and be a little crazy. So that was a uh, margarita day. Mm. So much fun with all the cast and crew. Quindi yeah. Mo- tanto divertimento con, con tutto il cast, quindi non, nessun <laughs> ricordo a nessuno in particolare. Allora, e adesso noi vogliamo chiederti ehm, se hai un ricordo in particolare degli attori che ci hanno lasciato in questi ultimi anni. Mm. Do you remember par- particular memories of the actors uh, who passed away in uh, recent e- years? Um, yeah, I think probably the most notable person uh, for me uh, is Jerry Verdorn. Mm-hmm. Um, always, yeah, there he is. Always a gentleman. Um, uh, always had um, uh, words of wisdom. If you needed it, you know, if you needed somebody to talk to, Jerry was was a guy to to talk to you. Um, just had a calmness about him. He knew he just always stayed calm no matter what. Um, so um, yeah, he is he was a special man, and he's he's uh, he's missed by all of us. We just recently did a bowling event, the Stars and Strikes for Autism, and. Um, and of course that was his event him and him and uh, Liz Kiefer uh were the main ones who who put that on over the years and so we just recently had that back in uh October so mm. uh, yeah yeah unforgettable Jerry Verdorna quindi indimenticabile il nostro Ross Marley sì. yeah. Jerry sempre per sempre allora adesso noi vogliamo chiamare qui il nostro amato, adorato regista Marcello Marino per la sua domanda, domandona. And now our director Marcello Marino has a question for you. Ok. È qui con noi Marcello Marino. Hi, Kurt. Oh, oh, thank you for those great videos, great, great memories. Thank you very much for that. You're welcome. I'm uh, happy to, to, to have you here with us. Nice to meet you. Yes, you as well. 
Thank you. Eh, allora, I have a question. Okay. Uh, la domanda è, nelle prime, mh, anzi è proprio le, 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 quando arriva Springfield, il primo personaggio che incontra è Lucy Cooper e con lei ha diverse scene. Era previsto forse un, so, un triangolo tra Lucy e Vanessa o una storia mm -hmm. con Lucy? The first character Matt Reardon meets in Springfield uh, was Lucy Cooper and he shared several scenes uh, with her. Was there a story with Lucy or a triangle with Vanessa planned? Um, yes, yeah. Um, in fact, that's why I screen tested with, um, with her because uh, that was where the story was going. I was supposed to be uh, Lucy Cooper's love interest. So, uh, Sonia, I was coming on the show. I was going to get introduced through the Matt and Vanessa storyline, and nobody knew it was going to be so so um, well received and so popular. But the idea was is that when I came to town, it would be cut off with Matt and Vanessa, and that uh, Matt and Lucy would be a, an item. So. Mm. Ok, so, avevi ragione Marcello, you, you were right Marcello. <laughs> Did somebody tell you that already or do you guessed it? No. I, um, guardando le scene, guardando le puntate è venuto il dubbio. Watching the, those scenes uh, we guessed uh, something like that, no? Right. Yeah. Your love interest, uh, no, the, your, um, uh, yes, your love interest for Lucy. Yeah. 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 Quali sono state le storie che ti sono piaciute di più e quelle che ti sono piaciute di meno? Uh, which storylines did you like uh, the most and which ones did you like uh, the least? Uh, well, I think that the, the storyline I liked the least was, because it went on for so long, was the storyline where Matt was, and I'm sure the audience maybe felt differently, but where Matt and Vanessa didn't know each other and they were communicating uh, through uh, emails or through the computer. Mm -hmm. um, and they were, you know, having a connection just through their words, not by each other. So I know it was, I know it was, uh, I think, well liked and it was interesting. But as an actor, um, it's not the same as being, being with someone, being one on one with someone. So So whenever we had uh, whenever we had stuff together, um, you, you're much more connected. And um, and I think some of the some of my favorite stuff was some of the very beginning stuff when we when we were uh, on the island in the very beginning. I mean, there's lots of good stuff. I'm not, I can't even remember it all. I mean, you just introduced me to all this stuff that I've forgotten about. But I think um, that that was a, a a lot of fun when we were. You know, stranded on the, the island. Mm, quindi molto uh, divertimento lì nell'isola, a lot of fun. Sicuramente. Mm. Sì. Adesso c'è una domanda da parte del nostro amico giornalista Cossentino che appunto vuole rivolgere a Kurt. And now our friend Sante, who is a journalist, has a question for you. Ok. Hi Kurt, how are you? I hope fine. Um, have you kept in touch um, with uh, any of cast of a guy delight? I'm just curious. Uh, kisses and hugs yep. from Santa Cosentino, Italian journalist and a big friend of Maria Massimo. Your, your friend, really, producer of El Sentieri. Ciao. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Um, uh, <laughs> yes, I have, uh, I have kept in touch with... Um, Um, quite a few people. I, I think probably the most um, has been Beth Chamberlain, uh, Liz Kiefer, uh, Maeve Kincaid. Um, you know, I had, I had stayed in touch uh, before he passed uh, with Jerry, um, you know, over the years. And when you say stay in touch, it's like maybe you talk to them once a year. You know, unfortunately, you know, I think that's the saddest part about being on a show. Uh, for all of those years, you see those people every day in the hallways on the set, even if you're not working together, even if you're not on the same storyline, you see you see uh, each other. And then all of a sudden, it's over. 
and everybody goes back to uh, or goes to a different life. Maybe it's a different show. Maybe it's uh, you know doing other things. But um, it's um, it, it's 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 a sad thing, honestly, to to spend so much time with people uh, over the years and then not see them so much. But people lose touch, and um, and that's um, I think it's easier to stay in touch now with social media and texting and all that. But um, but yeah, I've stayed in, I've stayed in touch with um, a handful of people. Okay. Certo, sicuramente. Esatto. Senti, ma ti è mai capitato di guardare i sentieri in lingua italiana? E se sì, hai mai ascoltato la tua voce italiana? Have you ever watched uh, Guided Light in Italian? And have you ever mm, listened to your Italian voice? No, I have not. No? Okay, maybe <gasps> there is a chance. No! No! <laughs> no. Yeah, abbiamo l'occasione ah. oggi. Look, no, no. look here! Look okay. here because we have a surprise for you. <laughs> Guarda <laughs> bene perché abbiamo una sorpresa per te. Dobbiamo smetterla subito Senti, ti chiedo scusa No, non è necessario che ti scusi No, devo farlo, io, io mi rendo conto che forse ho esagerato No, non solo tu Abbiamo esagerato entrambi e la cosa non mi piace, lo capisci? Sì, lo capisco e vedrò di starci più attento d'ora in avanti, va bene? Ah, Dio onnipotente, dire che non so nemmeno chi sei No, aspetta, tu sai benissimo chi sono, sono la persona che conosci io Tess, non ti ho mentito, giuro che non ti ho, non ti ho ingannato in alcun modo e vorrei, insomma, vorrei potertelo dimostrare, ci terrei moltissimo, credi? Ah, no, non voglio che tu faccia nient'altro, voglio solo che tu la smetta Tess, certo, ho capito tutto e mi dispiace, d'accordo, avevo perso la testa ah, No, non è vero, non hai fatto niente, sono stata io che... Non so, senti, io amo ancora mio marito, è chiaro, quindi... Oh, Matt, mi manchi così tanto. Matt. Non ti ho mai detto il mio nome. Oh, oh mio Dio, no, ma allora... Vanessa, Vanessa. I think it's much more beautiful in Italian. <laughs> no, it's not true. Yeah. Oh, very good. So we, great. I just um, it's um it's so funny. I just got back from Dusseldorf, Germany, and I got to uh uh hear my uh my German voice for No Retreat, No Surrender. <laughs> it was uh it was a screening and a um um uh, autograph meet and greet with the fans of the movie oh, okay. for two two days so i got to hear so the, in one week i hear my german voice and my italian voice uh, <laughs> very nice experience it's molto bella questa esperienza oh, nice. yeah senti kurt ma che cosa ci puoi raccontare della tua esperienza in general hospital Ah. What can you tell us about your experience in the General Hospital? Yeah, uh, another great experience, I have to say. I have, um, I have friends from General Hospital that I still uh, keep in touch with. Jane Elliott, who played my mom on the show, um, Tracy Quartermain, um, uh, Ken Schreiner, who plays mm -hmm. Scotty Baldwin on the show. Um, so uh, it, was, it was a shorter amount of time. Uh, because I left to go do some other things. I didn't stay uh, too long, just a few years. Um, and um, it, again, really a lot of uh, interesting, um, fun people to work with. Um, and you do, you stay, you stay friends with some, some people um, uh, for, for life. And others, you know, you don't stay in contact, but when you see them, it's always like you know it's like old times so yeah. it, was, it was a great great show to be on i really enjoyed it allora abbiamo un altro un altro video sorpresa caro card we have another video surprise <laughs> for you maybe it is the last <laughs> the last one maybe 
That's so cool. And that yeah. 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 wasn't that nice that they let <laughs> they do that on the show. That was so great that they they let us do that. Um, it, it turned out good. And now that I see it all these years, I go, yeah, that was that turned out pretty nice. It's a love story. Ma dici dici un po', ma quando è nata la la tua passione per per le arti marziali? When did your passion for uh, um, martial arts uh, begin? I believe it started with um, a couple of television shows that I watched when I was a kid. One was The Wild Wild West with Robert Conrad. He, um, you know, wasn't a wasn't a martial arts show per se, but he did. He threw kicks in his fight scenes, and I was like, "Ooh, I, I like that." And then, of course, Bruce Lee. In the Green Hornet as Cato, um, so I think that's that's where it that's where it uh, began, seeing those guys uh, throw kicks, and I wanted to be able to kick high like that and 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 do that. So um, I started in um, martial arts training when I was 12. Very early, molto presto. Yeah. Okay. E cosa puoi raccontarci? Dei film che dei film girati con Jean Claude Van Damme. Uh, what can you tell us about uh, the movies uh, shot with uh, Jean Claude Van Damme? So that was called No Retreat, No Surrender, and um, and that's uh, exactly. And um, I was uh, we had two uh, screenings of that in Germany this past weekend. So it's um, uh, it's managed somehow uh, to stay a um, um, a well-loved film after all of these years so we we shot the film in Los Angeles and in Seattle Washington um, and we shot it in about about seven seven weeks and uh, Jean-Claude had just moved uh, from Belgium I had just moved from Louisville Kentucky and um, it was an open casting call looking for these characters and he um he was liked as the bad guy and i was liked as the as the good guy so we got the roles um and within after we got the parts i think we were shooting uh within a, a couple of weeks i i was um supposed to do part two and um we i decided um through a series of events at that time with uh per, you know the people that were producing it um, that um, I was going to not do the film, so I, I took General Hospital instead and went to work uh, uh, for CBS uh, and General Hospital. Um, I planned on it. I fully intended on, on doing, uh, doing the film, but it, it just didn't work out. No. Okay. Allora, adesso abbiamo un altro video. Guarda, now we have other video to look.
Thank you. Bravo, Marci. Bravo, Marcello. Tutta la sua lunga carriera. Allora, appunto nella tua lunga carriera, ecco, quale altro personaggio ti è piaciuto interpretare? In your career, what other roles uh, have you enjoyed playing? Um, you know, I think every time you get um, a part as an actor, it's, it's, you, you always find something wonderful about it. I mean, you guys showing me, uh, Marcello showing me that, that all that work again, it just takes me back and, and reminds me of what it was like when, um, when I first got those shows and when I first got to play those characters. I, um, I just, um, I just, uh, over the, well, you had Gabriel's Inferno in there, which, um, it was a, um, a trilogy of romance novels uh, on Passion Flicks, which is a Tosca Musk uh, network and um, stars uh, Melanie, Z uh, Melanie Zanetti and uh, uh, Giulio Beretti, who is an Italian guy. You guys maybe know him from other things. Um, so we did that and that was, a, that was over the last few years that we shot all three of those films. And then, um, and most recently, uh, which is um, available for um, pre-order on Amazon now, um, the film that I did in Germany called The Last Kumite, um, which just finished, and I'm going to be headed back to Germany next month for that premiere. So it, it, to answer your question, it, there, it's, it's always a treat, and every character I've played, I've, 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 had, a, I've had a wonderful time with it, and I look forward to, you know, to more characters to play over the years. Mm, each one was important, quindi tutti sono stati importanti per lui. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Guiding Light uh, is was, you know, the longest show that I ever did, and um, and definitely there's um, uh, a, a real uh, soft spot in my heart for that, for that show and and all the people that I that I worked with over the years. It's so hard not to after after that amount of time. So, <laughs> ovviamente, sempre metto nel cuore. Bene. Sempre. Hai, hai nuovi progetti per il futuro? Ce ne vuoi parlare? Do you have any new plans uh, for uh, the future? Well, um, the, the show that I just finished coming out, The Last Kumite, um, and then we're currently working on a, a, a series uh, based on the movie No Retreat, No Surrender. So that's, that's the plan. Mm -hmm. If okay. we can make it happen, hopefully we can. Okay. So we can keep our fingers crossed for your projects. Quindi incrociamo le dita per questi nuovi progetti futuri. Yeah. yeah. Eh sì. Allora, abbiamo un altro video ma la veramente sua. molto 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 bello da We guardare swear. sorpresa sorpresa I'm having a good time whatever you want I'm having a good time here this is good Vorrei dire che le musiche sono di Eugenia Marino, la sorella di Marcello Marino. È una famiglia di artisti. Se lo vuoi dire, Ross, grazie. 
Eugenia is um, the sister of Marcello and uh, she um, created all uh, the music you can uh, hear oh, as a background. Please, so please thank her for me. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Bene, mi sta allora siamo una... giunti a te. Sì. Volevo chiedere se sì, vai, vai, scusa. Se pensa di venire no, no. in paese. Esatto. Have you ever been to Italy or are you thinking uh, of visiting our country soon? Yes. Um, I don't know when, but it is definitely on my list and no I have it. I had um, a couple of almost opportunities. Um, One was with the Gabriel's uh, uh, rapture, and um, but it was COVID, so they cut back um, on that. So we did. So I actually didn't go. And then there was another time before it might have been with Guiding Light that um, that I was going to come, and for whatever reason it didn't work out. So I've had all these missed opportunities to come to Italy, and it is. It is time that I get there. So I'm I don't know exactly when, but I'm it's on my list to do hopefully within the next couple of years for sure. Okay, so we are waiting for you and uh, you went to Germany. So Italy is not very far. No, it's so Germany. close, right? Yeah. <laughs> so next time uh, don't forget uh, to Ti aspettiamo. <laughs> Ti aspettiamo. We're waiting uh, for you here. Okay. I look forward to it. I look forward to it. Sì. Ok, allora siamo giunti al termine di questa bellissima chiacchierata. We are at the end of this uh, lovely chatting for you. Vogliamo uh, completare insomma con i saluti. Se vuoi inviare un messaggio a tutto il tuo pubblico italiano che ti ha amato in sentieri e che continua a seguirti anche in altri lavori. Would you like to say hello to our uh, uh, audience, uh, Italian, uh, your love, uh, your fan, your Italian fans who uh, love you? I, I most certainly would. Thank you. Um, thank you all. Um, thank you for having me on the show. And thank you for uh, loving Guiding Light uh, the way that you did. I, I had heard for many years um, how much... Um, Our, our Italian fans love the show and I'm sorry, my apologies for never getting there, but I promise that I'm coming and thank Don't you. Don't worry, <laughs> it's a promise. Quindi, um, uh, allora, <laughs> esatto. Quindi innanzitutto, first of all, uh, thank you so much, uh, Kurt, for being with us, uh, for accepting our invitation, we really appreciate it. Quindi lo ringraziamo per aver condiviso con noi, um, uh, for sharing all these memories uh, of uh, uh, your um, 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 lane of the memories, no? Along your, this trip. For your, yes. Quindi grazie mille per aver condiviso tutti questi ricordi in questo bel viaggio, insomma, nella, nella memoria insomma, dei, dei ricordi passati. Quindi abbiamo detto tutto, dobbiamo mh, salutare qualcun altro? No, sì. i social li abbiamo detti, quindi allora pos possiamo... Assolutamente salutare. un grande abbraccio. Ne esatto, nel caso in cui lui, però per favore Ross, se lo puoi dire... Nel caso in cui lui volesse dare di nuovo lezioni di karate, arti marziali. arti marziali, io mi appunto, ecco se glielo vuoi dire, eventualmente, okay. grazie. That is saying that if you like to teach martial arts to her, he's very gladly to, okay. to learn. Ok, I okay. would love to. <laughs> Ok, grazie a tutti. Grazie a tutti, grazie a tutti. 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 Grazie ha partecipato Kurt McKinney. Hanno presentato Daria Graziosi, Salvatore Esposito e Rosario Paolo Saia. Musiche di Eugenia Marino.
Supervisione e regia Marcello Marino. Si ringraziano Sante Cossentino e Max Di Benedetto. Video disponibile su YouTube nel canale Sentieri Online.